hi guys welcome to my channel my name is lydia lydia medicine if you are new here thank you for clicking the subscribe button and thank you for clicking my thumbnail if you are not welcome back and thank you for always coming back so today from the title of this video you are going to see that we're going to be talking about three books you should read in 2023 yeah so without further ado let's get right into the video <laughs> I saw a quote where someone said the best way to get experience is to take someone's 10,000 hours and the way to do that is by reading a book because this person has poured out their experience into that book I mean the author has poured out their experience into that book so that if you're ever in that situation you know how to maneuver and you know how to handle that situation so that is the best way to take someone's 10,000 hours because say it takes 10,000 hours to master a skill or something like that so if you are ever in a situation where you need to learn how to do something just pick up a book and read so you might be wondering who this is that is telling you to read three books that can change your life or that can help you in 2023 i just want to let you know i read about six books last year in about six months and i've always been a big reader i just stopped for some time but now i am back so i'm going to be telling you guys the books that i read there's this debate about self-help books and fiction books where fiction books are better than self-help books i would say that there's a lot of jargons and there's a lot of junk in self-help books but i would say that the author is just trying to explain as much as possible with examples with illustrations so that you can understand what to do because with fiction books are just telling most of the time they're telling a story or they are they're just saying something that is not true but with self-help books even if they make up some of these examples they are trying to explain how what they are telling you to do is in real life so that's why i feel like i like self-help books more because you just take it when you need to figure something out because when you are reading fiction books sometimes you get carried away with the story you get carried away with the the journey of whosoever it is in that book and you get lost you get lost without picking up what you wanted to or if you you won't even know that you wanted to pick something up so i used to read a lot of fiction books while i was my teenage years but i stopped when i felt like i needed to address some things in my life and i focus on self-improvement books but that story for another so like i said i did a lot of reading last year six books and i have compiled a list of books that i think can help you i will say that when i read i take notes of actionable steps and i start acting and i also take notes of quotes that stick out to me and that's why i like self-help books really because i just go there to pick what i want and I start acting the first book i'm going to be talking about today is with winning in mind by lani basham and i will say that everything that happens in life in your life stems from your thoughts your mind and this book clearly states that it's a very short and straight to the point book about 187 pages or so not up to 200 pages that talks about the process of winning i know right there's a process of winning i mean from even before you get into a competition there is a process of winning and this book talks about mental management how you can manage your mind it is amazing it's a very straightforward book he just tells you what is going on in your mind and what to do what to do what to do well the book is for competition it's not based on psychology just like he said in the book I'm, i might be looking down so that i can address some points that i've listed because i also have my book if you watch my vlog you know that this book is the book that i use to take down notes when i read books so I'm going to be looking down from time to time to just pick out some things that I have noted here. So this book talks about the process of winning, just like I said. The author is an Olympicist. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but he was in the Olympics some years back. I didn't write the year down because just like I said, I go to down, I go there to take what I need from the book and I don't need the year that he did his Olympics. Lani Basham is a shooter he was a shoot he is still alive he's not an old man <laughs> so he was a shooter in the olympics during his time and the process of him winning the olympics he tried to explain what he did because he also spoke to so many winners so many people that have even lost so many losers because you find out that why am i losing i know that this book is not is competition based or is like when you're trying to pick up a skill or something i know that this book speaks a lot about competition but you can also apply it to any area of your life in this book he speaks about training and building the subconscious is your subconscious skill he also speaks about building the self-image he says that self-image will help you during competition win and he said so many things about 
even before you enter the competition the process has already started and it is amazing so i feel like if you are doing anything in life maybe picking up a skill because i feel like that's what or you're even trying to enter a competition you should definitely read this book and now we're going to be going on to the next book the next book is the richest man in babylon this is a finance book that deals with money management i honestly read this book to i don't know what i was thinking when i picked up the book but it was about money it was about riches let me not say money per se it was about riches so that's what enticed me to read the book and it kept on popping up everywhere so i said okay let me just read this book and i'll say i like this book because it teaches you how to manage your money finances and also how to invest in the most mundane way it follows an ancient story that talks about a man that built his wealth there's part of the book that i love that says five laws of gold you can also call it five laws of money because you know that i said that it has to deal with an ancient world of babylon so that's why they refer to it as gold but it teaches you the five laws of money how to use your money how to build your income how to even use your income how to make income so everything in this book is just perfect i really really enjoyed the book how he told the stories and the third book is everybody's favorite atomic habits yes i don't know if i would do a video and i didn't want to like speak about books that are very common but this one is perfect this book just does the job this book is a bestseller because it explains in depth on how to break bad habits how to build good habits and how to maintain the habits that you've built or the habits that you've broken like it is amazing i love it so much there are so many steps there are so many rules and the funny thing about it is that they're just very very simple things the first book that i mentioned and this one that's lani basham's book with winning in mind and atomic habits by james clare it also speaks about how self-image can change whatsoever it is that you want to do in this one in atomic habits building your habits or breaking your habits in win in with winning in mind it can help you win your self-image is very very important how you see yourself is very important so i definitely think that you should read this book also i particularly love where he said in this book that everything that we do all our habits are tied to our identity so if you think that i am let me say let me use something i used to do before i can't remember the direction to that place and maybe you've gone to that place a number of times but you still can't remember and if you continue to tell yourself that that is what you would always be known for that is what you would always believe that you are just like an example that he spoke about in the book where he spoke about two people that were smokers and habits are created on who we think we are but with all the steps in this book i've added mine by saying anytime i'm doing something like i'm not exercising or i'm eating too much junk food i'll just ask myself is this who you are and when i ask myself it just brings me to a realization that okay this is not what i want to be doing to become the person that i want to be so that question is this who you are is me questioning my identity in that moment saying lydia is this who you are so it's just bringing me back to reality and is it that i go to start exercising or i stop eating junk food or i don't eat junk food i think everyone should read these books that i've mentioned there are so many gems in them i know that i have not articulated them in the best possible way but these are the books that i recommend that you read in 2023 because the first one will help with whatsoever skill you are trying to learn in 2023 the second one is going to help with your money and the third one is going to help with your habits and the kind of person you are trying to be i'll be doing this kind of video so stay tuned so thank you for stopping by thank you for watching this video i really do appreciate you don't forget to like share subscribe and watch my other videos